This is 7 National News and in our top story, the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan, has sent a congratulatory cable to Vladimir Putin on winning the presidential elections in Russia. Additionally, the Prime Minister and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid al Maktoum, also sent a congratulatory cable to the Russian President. The UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, received the Italian Defence Minister, Giampaolo Di Paola, and his accompanying delegation at Zabel Palace today. Sheikh Mohammed discussed with his guest the bilateral relations and cooperation between the UAE and Italy, especially military cooperation between the armed forces of both countries. Applauding the wise leadership of the UAE and its balanced political approach at both the regional and international levels, De Paula expressed his country's desire to broaden the scope of cooperation. Record profits and business growth in the region's aviation industry is the focus of the first ever edition of the Abu Dhabi Air Expo. The event, touted as the region's first general aviation exhibition, kicked off on Monday at Albertine Executive Airport. According to industry experts, the three-day event provides an excellent platform for industry players to showcase their aircrafts, products, services and equipment that responds to every need of the growing market and demanding clientele. According to Royal Jet, the international luxury flight services company, while competition and demand is rising, service and overall performance continue to be the determining factor that will allow companies to survive the market. It's, it's a relatively small market, so you have to make sure that you're very, very focused on your core customers and that you have a very good uh, understanding of your core segments of customers, whether they be high net worth individuals or, or government or, uh, in our case, Medivac operations um, or even uh, presidential flying. Um, you, you must be very focused. And uh, the margins are razor thin. We've uh, taken some decisions to, to restructure parts of the business, which have really benefited and streamlined our operation. We've also spent a, put a lot of effort into streamlining our sales and marketing team, and we have a, a super uh, team led by uh, Emirati Man uh, Management Group. And uh, as well as that, um, we've introduced uh, what we think is the f world's first uh, yield management uh, and revenue management program for a private jet airline. And that's really uh, helped the uh, revenue per block hour, which is, which is how we uh, manage our, uh, or measure our performance. Organisers say this year's inaugural event marks Abu Dhabi as a key hub in a fast-growing aviation segment, linking the West to the powerhouses of Southeast Asia. Currently, the Middle East ranks third worldwide in the private jet market, following the US and Europe. And despite the challenging global economic climate in 2011, Royal Jet reported record high net profits last year, with a 226% increase, and is optimistic for 2012. We flew to uh, 134 countries last year, which uh, highlights the breadth of our operation. Uh, we um, undertook uh, 3,134 missions, uh, and that is um, a lot of flying with uh, 10 aircraft, and uh, we're very proud to uh, have that, uh, the capability uh, to be able to operate as a as a charter operation here, uh, bearing in mind that we don't uh, operate to a schedule, uh, that these trips are all planned from the ground up, and uh, of utmost importance, of course, is the, uh, the service, the safety and the security of all of the missions. Drivers might want to think again when they go for the accelerator, as there are now as many as 235 road cameras at key junctions in Dubai. His Excellency Mata al Tayyar, the chairman of the board and executive director of the Roads and Transport Authority, said in a statement that the 235 cameras are linked to the traffic control centre at Banyas to monitor and streamline traffic movement across the Emirate. There are 27 screens at the centre that allow the monitoring of roads through the camera camera feeds. The centre controls various intelligent traffic systems, such as the virtual messaging signs, which consist of 32 electronic signs designed to the highest technological specifications covering the main roads across the Emirate. 
And deaths on the roads just fell over 11% last year in Abu Dhabi, according to recent data. Abu Dhabi police statistics show that the number of road fatalities fell from 376 in 2010 to 334 in 2011. The number of pedestrian deaths per 100,000 fell by 21% in 2011. In terms of initiatives, the 2011 traffic plan included 12 traffic awareness programs where police spoke with 331 schools across the Emirate, as well as the setup of 30 traffic exhibitions. Dubai police have revealed that two Arab men were arrested in al last month for possessing 448 heroin capsules. After a tip-off, the anti-narcotics department of the Dubai police set a trap around a truck parked in al near a car showroom. Uh, but after a man broke the window of the driver's side of the truck, he was then arrested and the truck was surged. Police then discovered 448 capsules of heroin weighing 3.682 kilograms, which were found in two plastic bags hidden behind the driver's seat. The first bag contained 335 capsules weighing 2.72 kilograms, and the second had 113 capsules weighing 962 grams. The suspect then admitted he had been coordinating with a person outside the country. It was then revealed that a separate man, the owner of the truck, had been arrested in Sharjah on drug trafficking charges a day before the operation. And up next, we'll have the day's business news, so stay with us.